guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am bringing you another cadence tutorial video. I recently moved over a client's website from an old theme to the cadence theme, and he is absolutely loving it. But today he emailed asking how he can create a 404 page. So I thought, why not create a tutorial video and share it with all of you? So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I'm going to be creating a 404 page using the Cadence Pro plugin. But first, what exactly is a 404 page? And I know most people don't actually know what this is. So a 404 page is a page that you may land on if a link is broken on your website. So perhaps the page doesn't exist or the image doesn't exist anymore. A 404 page addresses what has happened. So whether the link is broken or it just doesn't exist anymore and it might direct your browser to somewhere else on your website. With a 404 page, you really need to be encouraging your browsers to go to somewhere else on your website and to stick around for a bit longer. You don't want them landing on your website, seeing a 404 page and then going somewhere else. The thing with a 404 page is you wanna keep it as simple as possible. Address the problem and give them a new destination. So let's dive into my client's website. I'm going to be using the Cadence Pro plugin to achieve this 404 page and Cadence blocks. If you don't have either of these plugins, there are links below to check it out. I highly recommend Cadence and I've done many other videos on Cadence and why I think it's so amazing. So let's go to, into my screen and I will walk you step by step on creating a 404 page with Cadence. Okay, so this is the 404 page I am going to be creating for my client. As you can see, it addresses exactly what has happened. It says, oops, it looks like the page you were looking for isn't here. It's simple, it's friendly, and I do have other 404 head ideas that you might be able to use. Um, so if you do want a copy of this, let me know in the comments below and I'll happily share that with you. Um, some of them are like, we are sorry, the page you're looking for seems to have gone missing. It looks like you took a wrong turn. Let's get you back on track, etc. So there are 10 different options that I've kind of created and you can use as well on your 404 page. Next thing is it points your browser in a new direction, which means it keeps your browser on the website for longer. So it says perhaps you could discover what you're looking for down below. And then I've got three buttons and these all link to pages on my website. In the background, I have an image and that image is 404. So we can still see it's 404, but it's not as prominent as other 404 pages where all it says is 404 and that means nothing to your browser. So we are going to be using the Cadence Theme Pro. That's $59 a year. It is a pro plugin. Um, and the reason we're going to be using that is because we are using the hooked elements. So let's dive into my client's website. I'm going to install the Cadence Theme Pro, set up the licenses, and then activate the hooked elements and use Cadence Blocks to build out a 404 page like this. So from our dashboard, what we're going to do is we're going to go to plugins here on the left hand side. We're going to click add new. And if we've purchased the Cadence Pro theme, then we will have downloaded the zip file. And what we will do is we'll click upload plugin and then we will find our plugin on our desktop or wherever we saved it. We'll drag and drop it in here and click install now. Once it has been installed, Cadence will require you to input your email address and your license code. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate the plugin um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in that license code. So to do that, we come to appearance and then we'll come to Cadence here. And then we will pop in our license key and our license email, which is something I have already done. So once we've done that, it, Cadence Pro is active and then we're going to come to our Pro add-ons here. And what we're simply going to do is we're going to toggle this button. So it was already toggled because I did this earlier, but we're just going to come here, toggle this button. Once we've toggled it, we're going to click on customize. Now, if you go off this page and you don't know how to get back to the hooked elements, don't worry, just come to appearance, cadence and come to elements and then you'll get back to your hooked elements. So we'll click on customize 
And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new element. So we'll click Add New. Okay, it is a template that we're creating. We're going to give it a title that is relative to what we're creating. So it's a 404 page. And the next thing is we need to hook our element to where we want it to show up. So we're going to come to our element settings here. Placement, we're going to click on the drop down. We're going to scroll down. We're going to replace the 404 page content. We're going to keep the priority at 10. Display settings, and we're going to change that to not found 404. Now, if we click publish, this is going to replace the current 404 page that comes standard with Cadence. And just to show you, this is what it looks like. Um, it's got that same, oops, that page can't be found. And it's also got a search bar, which is also great. But if you want to change it up and you want to add something more custom, then this is how you make something custom. Okay, so if I did click publish, it would completely override that and it would be a blank page. So now we have to go ahead and we're going to use cadence blocks to recreate the look that I showed you earlier. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to create a row and in that row, we're going to add a background, which is going to be that 404 image. So I've already uploaded that 404 image um, and I'm going to click background image size is auto and the last thing I want to do is just go to advanced and go to my structure settings and just change that minimum height to something like 800. Okay there we go and I want to make sure that all of the content is vertically aligned so I'm going to click vertical align and align middle. Next thing I want to do is I want to add in a header so this is our oops header and I've actually designed it here. So I'm just going to copy that over from Figma and I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to center align it and I just want to make the text a little bit bigger. Change that line height. Okay. And then I want to add in another header. maybe make it a h3 tag and the last thing I want to do is add in some advanced buttons so your advanced button here that says packages and then I'm going to do portfolio and then the last one is contact us okay so once I've done that then I'm going to go ahead I'm just going to style these buttons so give it a Okay, so we have styled those. Uh, maybe I just want to make these all typography settings, uppercase with some spacing. And last thing is just to add some spacing here. So the margins at the bottom, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to click publish at the top here. Once I've clicked publish, I can view my element and I can see the element there. Oops, it looks like this page you were looking for isn't here. And we can click packages to go to packages, portfolio and contact us. Okay, so to recap we are using the cadence theme pro it is a premium plugin there is a link below if you do want to check it out and make the purchase i highly recommend it it is a great plugin and cadence is a great theme i've done many other tutorial videos which walk you through why cadence is so amazing and exactly what you can do with cadence we then use the hooked elements to create a page like this hooking it onto um, the 404 page and then we use the cadence blocks to design out the page. So now this was our 404 page, but now if we refresh this, it's now going to show us our 404 page. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want more cadence videos like this.